Hi, Miss Ropes, and today we are going to be using back to back stem and leaf plots to compare data sets. Okay, sounds interesting. So here we go. The stem and leaf plot below gives sample airfares from Dallas to two cities, Atlanta and Los Angeles. There were 15 airfares recorded for the Atlanta route and 22 for the Los Angeles route. Now that's going to be information that we're going to want later on. So 15 and 22, that's good for us. That'll help us out. We want to use the plot to answer the questions. All right. Here we see Atlanta stuff over here and Los Angeles over here. Which route has more airfares from 210 to 219? Well, the way a stem and leaf plot works, the stem, the 20, the 21, the 22, the 23, and the 24 down the middle, that's that's going to give us the, the values um, of the first two digits. So that's like 200, and this represents 201. And this over here for Atlanta would be 203. So we want to know when's it between 210 and 219. That's going to be based on this one. These are my two tens. So LA has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Atlanta only has one, two, three, four of them. So which route has more fares? That's going to be Los Angeles. So we got to make sure we click on that one. Okay. What were the ranges of airfares for the two routes? The total range. So for Atlanta, the lowest one is the 3, and the highest one is the 8, because that 8 represents 248. So for Atlanta, we have 248, and the low was 203. The range is just the highest minus the lowest. If I can do my math right, it's 45. Do the same thing for LA. This 9 represents 249. And the one we had circled before, that's 201. A little bit easier when we subtract. That's going to give me 48 for LA. And now the median route. This is where those numbers before. Remember up here, Atlanta had 15 airfares, right? So halfway, 15, if I split that in half, that's the same as like 7 and 8, which means we want to go right in between those. So we're going to have, if you follow my logic here, the eighth value, you can take the 15, cut it in half, 15 divided by 2 is going to give you 7.5, and then you round up to get to 8. Anyway, the eighth value. So for Atlanta, I need the eighth value. Well, I count the three. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This 7 should be halfway between. That represents 227 for LA, 227. I can count backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, boom, that's seven to the middle. Now for Los Angeles, it has 22, right? If I take 22 and I cut it in half, there's 11 values that are on the left and there will be 11 values on the right, so we're gonna have to go halfway between those two values. So let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, good for us. Those two values right there, I need to split them, but they're the same. Those are at 222. So which, value ha uh, which route had the greater median airfare? 227 is greater than 222, so Atlanta has the greater median airfare. That's it.